create a new layer and name it Dirt. You need to paint some dirt patterns and they need to be somewhat irregular contrary to the regular brush. Click the Mask button and choose the second mask preset. Paint around the engine cover. The pattern you are painting is irregular but still too strong. Try other blending modes to see their effects. Set the blending mode to multiply and decrease the layer opacity to about 20%. You can also try some other tools such as blur or smudge. Smudge can be particularly useful to create dirt streaks. Continue painting strokes in the areas most likely to be dirty. Next, you experiment with decals. Create a new layer and name it Decals. When you click the color brush or mask icon as you did earlier, you have access to a set of presets on custom maps. You can then browse the custom maps folder and add any TIFF files you created or those provided to you with this how-to movie. You can add color TIFF files for color brushes or black and white TIFF files for masks. Click the Reload Custom Maps button to view the files you added to the list. Change the color brush to the circular allied tricolor flag and in the mask channel choose its black and white counterpart. From a top vantage point apply it to the wings of the plane with one click of the mouse button. As mentioned earlier, the spherical brush size is such that the logo is applied on both sides of the wing. If you want to remove it from one side of the wing, then you can open the 2D view window and press shift and paint over the logo you wish to remove. Holding Shift and hovering over a logo in the 2D view will give you a hint on its placement in the viewport. Notice you're only affecting the layer you are working on. Remove the logo altogether from the left wing and replace it with another. Place a logo or two on the fuselage as well. Try other logos on the back stabilizers and rudder, perhaps one representing the squadron insignia. Create a new layer and name it Landing Gear. You want it separate as you will use a different blending mode on it. Place the landing gear decals under the plane. As earlier, you need to use the 2D view to remove the decals from the upper side of the wings. The gears look too white. Try using another blending mode such as Color Burn. Finally, create a new layer and name it Text. Text decals are easy to use as you typically only require a mask image and a simple color. Disable the Use Color option and choose a text mask, perhaps the plane serial or squadron number. Set the color to white and place the logo on both sides of the fuselage.
Of course, text doesn't have to be white. Try a different text mask for the plane's call sign and set it to red. Place it on the fuselage around the cockpit. As you can see, the process is intuitive yet powerful and enables you to quickly and easily create the bitmaps you need directly in the viewport. When you are happy with the results, you can right-click to display the Save Texture Layers dialog. In here, you can commit to your changes and save the resulting bitmap either as a multi-layered PSD file or flatten the layers and save the current texture.